Hello folks, this is uh, 2004 October November paper 1 and the question number is 37. It's a bit uh, uh, higher level question uh, which requires a long uh, time analysis. Uh, in the circuit shown, uh, the emitters have a negligible resistance, emitter, emitter, and voltmeters have infinite resistance. That means that uh, uh, both of them are ideal devices. The readings on the meters are I1, uh, I2, V1 and V2 as labeled in on the diagram, which is correct. So we have to choose the correct statement here. Choose the correct statement. So that requires that. So let me raise things a bit uh, here. So let us say, uh, let me convert this circuit somewhat like this, so that things become a bit easier for us. So the combination of these two resistances give us a single resistance the combination of these two gives us a single resistance like this like this so i am just calculating the voltage reading v1 and this is v2 v2 like this now the combination of 3 ohm and 6 ohm will be 2 ohm so i think uh, you need to uh, learn this by heart because it is often a common question similarly the combination of 2 and 2 will be 1 ohm 1 ohm so now according to voltage divider formula here whatever be the value of emf here the current is same here so the voltage will be in proportion to the resistance so that's why definitely v1 should be more than v2 v1 should be more than v2 so that requires that choice number b disqualifies and choice number D disqualifies. So only choice number A and C remains. Now, now let us say, uh, let us just assume that um, the current here, the current here is, uh, the current here is, let us say, let us say, let us say it's equal to um, 3 ampere, 3 ampere. If it is 3, it also becomes 3 and it also becomes 3 ampere, 3 ampere. But the values of current, the current can divide here and here and divide here and here. Let's first calculate this uh, this one actually. So this circuit will somewhat seem as seem as this is three ampere and the circuit will be like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, and like this. So this is three, this is three. It divides here. This is three ohm and this is six ohm. Now one thing that we have to remember is the sum of these two currents is equal to 3 ohm so this is i1 let us say this is i2 so i1 plus i2 should be equal to 3 ampere this is one equation also another is that since we have got uh, the pd from here to here should be same so we have one voltage is equal to v1 let us say v1 is equal to uh, i1 into 3 and another equation is v1 is equal to equal to i2 into 6 which gives us 3 i1 equal to 6 i2 now from this equation from this equation what i, I can have is this equation will give me give me uh, uh let, let me do it here let me do it right here or from this equation what i can i have is i1 is equal to 2 i2 so when i use this here i'll have 2 i2 plus i2 is equal to 3 3 i2 is equal to 3 which means i2 is equal to 1 if i2 is equal to 1 then i1 is equal to 2 ampere so i1 2 ampere 2 ampere i2 1 ampere so this i1 is equal to 2 ampere now in this case here if this is 3 ampere we have got equal resistances so that's why this current will divide equally into both of these branches equal on the both branches so that means it is 1.5 ampere and this again should be 1.5 ampere which means that which means that 1.5 2 so i1 should be more than i2 i1 more than i2 so 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 the choice will be choice number a is correct but choice number c is not correct it disqualifies so Choice number A becomes our correct choice.